There is some benefits with using integrated fixtures where the LED board is built in, but if you're not sure where to get started with a drop-in bulb, you can go and you can easily swap out that bulb to get the effect that you want. Whereas with an integrated fixture, you need to kind of know ahead of time what light to purchase to get that effect. And if you don't, well then you gotta go and replace the whole fixture. You can't just replace the bulb. So with a flagpole, uh, with a tall palm tree, we usually just say, hey, increase the intensity of the light from you know, what would be maybe a four or five watt LED to uh, you know, five, six or seven watt LED and narrow the beam on that. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this video with some more great landscape lighting tips. To learn more about landscape lighting, go and check out our website at lightingdoctor.ca or if you wanna see what a real quality landscape light should look like, go and check out our Try It Before You Buy It offer where you can get a premium quality fixture at a discounted rate with your very own battery pack so you can go and test out how that light's gonna look and feel what a real premium quality light should look like. So go and check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or go watch more videos on YouTube just by searching for The Lighting Doctor. A lot of the questions we got this week as well as talk about some of the lights again that we're shipping out this week. Um, Literally to all corners of North America, I have about 10 orders that need to go out here today. Um, the cool thing is a lot of them are from the last week or so, people have been sending in their videos or their pictures for their online video consultations where we kind of give them some different ideas of how to go about their lighting project. And what we always recommend, because I can give you all the recommendations in the world, but you're the one who has to live with it. So you want to see how it looks maybe before you go and make that big purchase. That's why we started doing the, uh, uh, the Insta light here. So it's basically a battery pack, uh, that you can order with one of the lights and you can actually go and just plug it in, uh, with some AA batteries. And then you can actually take that light all around your property and you can go see what's going to look, uh, what's going to look good based on those recommendations. So about six of these orders, are all our try it before you buy it lights or try it before you buy it kits where people are going to be able to go and test these out and see how it looks and see if the recommendations that I'm making actually make sense or if I'm just, you know, full of crap. So a uh, real good chance for you guys to uh, go and test those as well as I always get asked, what's the difference in quality between, you know, these lights and what you go buy in the big box stores or even some name brands that they sell in the big box stores and what's the difference? Well, I guarantee you, because I've never had anybody who gets this light and feels it, that doesn't say, oh yeah, that's that's the difference. That's why you pay more for these fixtures, because you can feel how they're built uh, compared to the other options that are out there. And even a lot of the crap that's online, and I don't like to bash anybody, but there's literally, uh, and I got this question this week too, is there's literally hundreds of companies that basically they all sell the exact same fixture. They're all made in the same place overseas in China. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. It's just, it's not the same quality as some of the fixtures that, that I'm talking to you about here. And yes, they're way cheaper. The lighting effects are gonna be very similar to what you're gonna get from something like this, but the longevity and the quality is not gonna be there. The efficiency, so when you're designing a system, um, I get those questions all the time too. Well, how come the, my lights aren't working, blah, blah, blah. A lot of times, because what it says on the box is not the actual efficiency and output of the light, so it causes all kinds of issues. And all I'm doing, guys, is I'm telling you the stuff that I get called out to repair all the time, it's like a broken record. It's the same thing. A lot of times, 30 second conversation on the phone, I can usually tell what the issue is before we even have to go out, just because it's typically all the same stuff. And what we do is we just stay away from the stuff that we always have to get called out to repair. So hopefully um, that gives you a little bit of conviction or confidence uh, in what we're selling. But if you don't believe me, go ahead, get the try before you buy it light, test it out. If you don't like it, send it back, you get your money back, but at least you can see what a real fixture uh, feels like, but then also what it looks like with the, uh, with the battery pack. So we got a bunch of that going out. Uh, cool thing is we got an order, um, actually from a guy who was one of our our earlier orders uh, early on, probably back in 2016, 2017, who bought a complete kit. And now it's two, three years later and he's still adding on lights. So we've got um, a bunch more of our path lights behind me that are going out to him again because he wants to add on. And that's one thing I always talk about in the videos is if you're not sure where to get started, start smaller, start with what you know, uh, what you like, focus in on a couple areas and then you can always add on later if you plan for that correctly. Uh, which brings me to another order that we're sending 
uh, where was it here? To uh, out to Georgia. Um, guys, a great property. So many cool things that we can do on it. Uh, but it gets it gets expensive. I mean, he's looking up towards you know forty lights. He's he's going to be spending four or five grand on lights, and he's maybe not quite ready to spend that yet. So he said, "Well, where can I get started?" So we did the consultation for him. We had everything outlined, and we said, "Well, you know what? We can cut that budget in half if you just focus on doing some accent lighting. So if you're just going to use you know some up lights to highlight some of the architectural features." some of the trees, and again, focusing in on one or two areas of the house or the property, instead of trying to light everything, or just putting one light way out in this corner and one light out way in this corner, you're better off just saying, hey, I'm gonna focus in on this area and make it look just perfect, and then if I wanna add on later, we can. So basically, he went from about 40 lights down to about 20, and what we're gonna use is just accent lights. We've kinda of scrapped all the path lights uh, at this time, because he can get way more bang for his buck and it's gonna look way better with the accent lights that we're gonna send him uh, than with all the path lights. But the other thing we're doing too is we're planning for that. We are sending an even bigger transformer uh, with his kit than we do with most of our kits because he knows he wants to add on later. So we've done that. So we've just increased from our regular, you know, kind of 150 watt, really good quality transformer up to a 200 watt transformer with multiple taps is just gonna give him more flexibility down the road. Uh, and that's what we do with our free consultations is we'll kind of walk you through that process so we can determine what's gonna be right for you, what, um, what amount of wire you're gonna need, what size transformer, the lights, all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool too. Um, and I mean, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff going out too, but I, I won't get too much more into that. The only other thing I will say um, I'm excited about some of these orders is also uh, the one guy also, we're just trying to talk more about this, is is lighting the second tier of your home uh, using something called a gutter mount. And a gutter mount is basically just a stainless steel bracket that you actually screw the light into. So instead of screwing it into a big ground stake like this, it screws into this metal bracket that you can mount right to the gutter. And then it allows you to easily go and get lights to that second tier of your home, which there's so many beautiful properties, especially in like... Georgia and I mean there's so many other states that have that that um, I don't know we tend to miss the boat on that I find here in uh, here in Canada or here in at least Calgary whereas some of the big I don't want to say mansion homes but that older style looking home have those great second tier features that you can go and accent uh, gutter mount is a great way to do that and super easy to do that so we've got some of those going on too um, other than that uh, I, I will answer a few questions that I got this week. Uh, a couple of them um, was again about accent lighting. If you're not sure where to get started and it's just too many lights with accent lights and path lights and stuff, you're almost always going to be better off uh, just focusing in on the accent lights and the up lights because you're going to get more bang for your buck out of those. Um, I did have some questions about uh, flag poles. Uh, a lot of people will have flags in their yard and they want to go and light their flag poles. This, this is going to um, it's going to work well with trees too. If you have really tall trees, if you've got a tree that's 6 to 15 feet, you can usually just use a standard up light. Um, it's going to do the job just great. If you're looking at, uh, you know, I get a lot of pictures from people down in the south who have beautiful palm trees. We don't have that here. Uh, I've seen a lot of projects down there where uh, a regular light like this is just not going to push that light high enough up. And same thing on a flagpole. So what you want to do is, all we do is we just use these same fixtures, but we just change the bulb out, which is another reason why I like the drop-in LED lamps as opposed to the integrated fixtures. There is some benefits with using the integrated fixtures where the LED board is built in, but if you're not sure where to get started with a drop-in bulb, you can go and you can easily swap out that bulb to get the effect that you want. Whereas with an integrated fixture, you need to kind of know ahead of time what light to purchase to get that effect, and if you don't, well, then you got to go and replace the whole fixture. You can't just replace the bulb. So with a flagpole, uh, with a tall palm tree, we usually just say, hey, increase the intensity of the light from, you know, what would be maybe a four or five watt LED to, uh, you know, five, six or seven watt LED and narrow the beam on that. So instead of like a standard 35 degree, you're going to narrow that to maybe a, a 15 or 25. And what that's going to do is it's going to push that light farther up the tree. Um, don't get too concerned about wattage um, because sometimes a 4 watt LED will put out more than a 6 watt LED 
lamp. It just depends on the make uh, and the efficiency of that bulb. So more so you want to look at lumens. A standard 20 watt equivalent LED lamp that's usually around four to five watts will usually put out around 250, 270 lumens. Um, what they would call a 35 watt equivalent will usually push out about um, 350, 370 lumens. And then you get into what would be like a 50 watt equivalent that's gonna push out closer to like, you know, 450 to 600 lumens. Uh, so the taller the tree, uh, the narrower the tree, the, the more light you need to get it to the top. So that was a question I wanted to answer. Um, and, uh, and I think the only other thing I was gonna touch on is on well lights. Um, I do have an example here. So basically a well light, like I talk about in some of my videos, it's basically an in-ground fixture that just goes right in the ground so that the top of the light is level. So anywhere where you have grass, a high maintenance area where you need to accent something, this is gonna be your go-to light because you can easily just run a mower over this, the kids can ride their bikes over it, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna break. These do cost more because they have to be in the ground and concealed uh, to work properly, so they're built um, a little bit more watertight, and there's a little bit more to them, uh, so they're a little bit more, but they're gonna give you the exact same effect, effect is an accent light it's basically just maintenance and budget if you don't have the budget to do that then this is going to give you the same effect um, but if you don't want to have to worry about maintenance and having a weed trim around it or stuff like that then uh, then this is going to be a good option the other time you want to use this is say you just want to hide the light source because this is in the ground um, this guy's right in the ground you're not going to see where that light is coming from during the daytime where this is gonna stick out you know, about this much. So you're gonna actually see the fixture a little bit. Um, it does blend in pretty good, and you always wanna try and kinda of hide it behind a, a plant or something anyway. Uh, but if you are concerned about that, and it's an area where a lot of people are gonna be seeing it, and you wanna completely hide that fixture, uh, then go with an in-ground with a well light. So anyway, that's a, a lot of stuff I'm covering. This is a longer video, but I wanna keep answering those questions. I wanna keep giving you guys ideas. Go check out our Try It Before You Buy a Light so you can test it out, you can feel the quality, uh, and really find out what's gonna look good on your property. And I look forward to hearing from all you guys. I appreciate all the questions, all the comments, and I know I didn't answer them all here, uh, but I'm happy to answer those for you guys uh, in an email or any of your comments on YouTube, so go and check that out, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. We're gonna show you how to light up your landscape with the King Innovation Instalight. So this is a great tool that we use to go and demo different types of lights to find out what light is gonna look best where. So all it is, it's a very simple battery operated pack that just takes eight AA batteries. And then what you can do with it is you can actually go and plug in your light, whatever light it is, whether it be a path light, a wash light, a wall light, or an accent light, you can go and just plug that into your Instalight and you can go walk around your property and test out all the different areas that you're thinking of lighting and seeing which lights look best in which location and where you wanna position those lights to get the best effect that you're looking for. It's a super, super easy tool that comes in all our do-it-yourself kits as well as our try it before you buy it offers where you can go and now test out these lights, feel the quality, see how they're gonna look before you go and make any big decisions on your landscape lighting project. And if Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys got some great do-it-yourself landscape lighting tips. Now, please be sure to go to our website at lightingdoctor.ca and check out our how-to page. It's full of great resources from our podcast to our video to our most frequently asked questions. And also check out our Try It Before You Buy It light where you can actually go now and get one of our premium quality up lights and a King Innovation Instalight, which is basically a battery pack now that allows you to go and run those lights and test them out on your pop property. Try it for 14 days. If you don't love it, send it back to us and we'll give you a full refund. And if not, you keep the light at a discounted rate and go and buy what you need for your project. So thanks again for watching. Please be sure to leave us a comment. We love your feedback and have a great day.